We've always been curious whether there is life beyond Earth. But what if we told you that the likelihood of finding other life forms has increased more than ever? It is so strong that it may have just annihilated our concept of the cosmos, says Michio Kaku about JWST. We've all heard that the new James Webb Space Telescope can peer back in time to the early universe's birth, making it somewhat like a time machine. There have been six bizarre galaxies found that defy explanation. Six galaxies that are up to ten times larger than the Milky Way galaxy are known to exist half a billion years after the Big Bang thanks to the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope wins two prizes for being the most powerful and expensive telescope ever made. The telescope is already making up for the absurd price, though, by giving us incredible images of space that we could never have. Join us as we talk about the Michio Kaku breaking his silence on the clearest image ever captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. So what is this discovery about? How do scientists infer information from that image? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into details. However, before getting started with the video, officially, here is a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Discovery The process of creating a galaxy is difficult. It took the cosmos more than 350 million years to create the earliest galaxies, which were rather small and required a long time to develop into the galaxies we see today. But here's the thing. Six old galaxies have just been found that defy all expectations. Despite having populations of tens or perhaps hundreds of billions of stars, these galaxies are considered to have formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. Michio Kaku, an American theoretical physicist, is equally perplexed by this revolutionary finding that has the potential to fundamentally alter our understanding of the world. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, which NASA launched in December 2021, discovered six massive galaxies that are nearly the same size as their own Milky Way. These galaxies were created much too early in the universe's history. If that's not enough to make your mouth drop, get this. One of these objects may contain a mass of stars that is up to 100 billion times more than that of our Sun. This means that some cosmic objects contain stars that are not just a few times larger than our Sun, but also several billion times larger. To put it into perspective, the Milky Way which contains our Sun and other stars contains only 60 billion times as many stars as our Sun. This discovery is indeed astounding, and in the words of one of the scientists involved in the experiment, Eric and Nelson, it's bananas. Michio thinks that these recent discoveries will help to close enormous knowledge gaps. This most recent discovery has the feeling of a missing puzzle piece. These galaxies have been dubbed universe breakers by the team of astronomers that discovered them, because if they are true, our entire knowledge of the galaxy formation will need to be revisited. This discovery could call into question some of the basic rules of cosmology, cosmology and Big Bang. The story of the universe is a long and complex one, stretching back over 13.8 billion years. It begins with the Big Bang, a cataclysmic explosion that marked the birth of the cosmos. Picture this, a vast expanse of nothingness, stretching out into infinity. Suddenly, with the burst of energy that would make even the most powerful supernova seem like a mere spark, the universe comes into being. This is the Big Bang, the most explosive event in the history of the cosmos. At the time of the Big Bang, the universe was a single point of infinite density and temperature, known as a singularity. In an instant, this singularity began to rapidly expand, a process known as cosmic inflation. As the universe expanded, it cooled and particles began to form. Over time, these particles came together to form the first atoms and eventually stars and galaxies. But the story of the Big Bang is not just one of the explosive beginnings. It's also a tale of cosmic evolution, of the formation of stars and galaxies, and the emergence of life itself. Over billions of years, the universe has continued to change and evolve, driven by forces we are only beginning to understand. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Big Bang Theory is the concept of cosmic microwave background radiation. This is the faint glow of radiation that permeates the entire universe and is thought to be a relic of the Big Bang itself. By studying the cosmic microwave background, scientists have been able to gain important insights into the early history of the universe, such as the fact that the universe was once much hotter and denser than it is today. Of course, there are still many unanswered questions about the Big Bang and the nature of the universe as a whole. For example, we still don't know what caused the initial singularity or what the universe is ultimately made of. 
But through continued exploration and discovery, cosmologists are gradually piecing together a more complete picture of the universe and its origins. The JWST's Discoveries The oldest galaxy ever discovered by JWST was discovered last year and is termed Glass Z13. It was discovered 300 million years after the Big Bang. Yes, the galaxy in question is more than 13 billion years old. Beyond what scientists could have predicted, this discovery has the potential to completely alter the first few chapters of cosmic history as we know it. Despite its age, Glass Z13 is no ordinary galaxy. In fact, it is smaller than our own Milky Way, which is home to our solar system despite having a mass greater than 1 billion suns. While Glass Z13 is only a few thousand light years across, the Milky Way is around 100,000 light years wide. But that's not all. Researchers recently found Glass Z11, a nearby old galaxy that is roughly as old as the previous record holder GNZ11. When Hubble astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope broke the record for the farthest galaxy ever seen in the universe in 2016, GNZ11 became the talk of the town. Just 400 million years after the Big Bang, GNZ11 was created 13.4 billion years ago. GNZ11 is barely 1% the mass of Milky Way and is 25 times smaller than the galaxy, but it is expanding quickly and generating stars at a rate 20 times higher than that of the Milky Way. These discoveries give us fresh information on the nature of the very early universe and a glimpse into the mysteries that lie ahead. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope is expected to take five images that are even better than those taken by its predecessor Hubble. Workings of JWST Using cutting-edge equipment to investigate the universe in infrared, the powerful space telescope discovered objects in the early universe during its first few months of operation. Infrared is the ideal wavelength for detecting light that has traveled for billions of years to reach us bleak and stretched out into longer wavelengths by the expansion of space-time, which is what makes this characteristic cool. Redshift refers to the enlargement of the wavelength, but what does redshift actually mean? In other words, as the light extends over miles and miles of space, the colors of the wave shift to red, and when we see the light from distant galaxies, we discover that it has a somewhat redder hue than what was emitted long before. As a result, the waves have longer redder wavelengths when they reach Earth. But why does the wavelength alter as it moves in terms of shape and color? Contrary to popular belief, it's not merely because the galaxy is relocating away from us. Instead, the distance between us and the galaxy is increasing as the empty space between them grows. The realization that galaxies aren't moving quickly across still space caused this discovery to dramatically change our understanding of the universe. We notice the greater the redshift the galaxy is moving away from us, the faster. The galaxy is farther away from us, and the light has stretched more when the redshift value is higher. GNZ11 has a redshift of 11, while Glass Z13 has a redshift of 13. Astronomers can even travel back in time to the early universe by studying redshift, when the earliest stars first released ultraviolet light that later redshifted all the way into the infrared region of the spectrum. By utilizing infrared cameras and spectrometers, the James Webb Space Telescope is specifically created to investigate these far-off and oldest galaxies. As a result, the JWST is able to see further into the past than any other telescope, providing a view of the early cosmos that was previously impossible to observe. But now that you are more familiar with these concepts, let's examine one more recent discovery, new galaxies. The JWST Advanced Deep Extra Galactic Survey, or JADES, has validated prior distance estimates for not one, not two, not three, but four galaxies. What's more, one of them has a redshift value of 13.2, which means we are viewing the galaxy as it looked just 320 million years after the Big Bang. With Emma Curtis Lake of the University of Hertfordshire in England stating, We've been waiting decades for this, and who can blame them? Astronomers are over the moon over this wonderful discovery. Even Peter Van Dokum of Yale University makes the comparison between the 300 million years that sharks have been present on Earth and the age of the galaxy. It is absolutely mind-boggling to consider that in the space of a single instant, we can go from nothing to fully developed galaxies. The catch, however, is not all candidate galaxies at high redshift have the same good fortune as GSZ-130 from Jade's. The Finkelstein-led Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey actually thought it had found a potential galaxy at redshift of 16.4 just 240 million years after the Big Bang. But it turned out to be a fake discovered 
at a redshift of 4.9, 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang, which is still remarkable, but not record-breaking. It merely goes to show that in the field of astronomy, prudence is essential, and even the smallest error can have a profoundly negative impact. So space explorers, fasten your seatbelts because you never know what amazing discoveries the future may bring. The universe, however, never ceases to astonish us that much is certain. What future holds? High redshift galaxy studies are developing at an astounding rate. The recent finding of the galaxy with a redshift of 16.4, the greatest ever detected. But the aid of the potent James Webb Space Telescope is only one example of the groundbreaking research being done. The thrill is still going strong with this cutting-edge instrument. Higher redshift candidates are anticipated to be found by the continuing Cosmos Webb study. Some specialists worry that the discipline is developing too quickly since astronomers on Twitter have already stolen open access to the work of researchers who haven't yet published their analysis. This hasn't, however, discouraged many other astronomers from asking for more telescope time or from proposing ideas for the future cycle two of planned scientific observations. Despite these tensions, astronomers are still thrilled to be gaining unprecedented insights into the early universe. Galaxy formation started already at a redshift of 20, suggests Van Dokum, referring to a time just 180 million years after the Big Bang. It is obvious that the telescope is unveiling surprising discoveries that challenge our knowledge of the universe, given that the JWST is able to go far farther into the past than was previously considered conceivable. Overall, the James Webb Space Telescope is in the lead of the race to investigate the early cosmos and unravel its mysteries. Are there any other revolutionary discoveries yet to be discovered? Do let us know your opinion in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.